Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be a flip through for September 2019. This book covers August and September. I already did an August flip through, which I will link to up in the cards. So let's get going. I don't do a splash page, cover page or anything like that normally, so there isn't one. I just went straight from August. Could do one there, I suppose, but I, don't, I never really see the point, you know, and it's a bit late to start decorating it now because, you know, I'm running in the current journal, so there you go. So this is my monthly calendar. <clears throat> um, the bars uh represent the colors of the week which you'll see when i get there um, i color code everything that i'll also link to up in the cards um, this is just a list of what color i'm assigning to people in my family so that when i write stuff about them i know who it's actually um pointing to this is my personal tracker this uh, is things that um I like to get done throughout the day that is not a household chore so like putting on my face cream morning and night um have a worn makeup you know stuff stuff like that um i'm also highly addicted to coca-cola so i'm trying to limit myself to one can or less um, and by can i mean a 330 ml can if i drink one of the smaller cans that's even better but yeah um did i have chips or french fries um you know did i do any crafting just stuff like that yeah and then um as i said i color code so each column represents a day and that will get colored in dependent on what day i actually did that task um i pull a tarot card every day or i try to i missed a few days there and then i write down um what the card was and the meaning behind it pretty simple really this is my about me so i take measurements of myself i weigh myself i also weigh my son um, I calculate my BMI and I write down what size my clothes are. This is my mood and my pain tracker. As you can see, it's a bit all over the place, it tends to be. And my mood, I had quite a few dips this past month, which wasn't quite so good. My sleeps tracker. This side shows the amount of hours that I slept. Um, I do a graph from 7pm through to 10am. And then I plot on there the hours that I slept according to my Fitbit. Yeah. So if my Fitbit says, oh, you slept, blah, 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 I plot it in on here. This side, I mark down how I feel about the sleep that I had. Was it bad sleep like this night here? Or was it great sleep like this night here? The more, the bigger the bar, the better the night's sleep. This is my steps tracker. This again is according to my Fitbit. So um, the uh, numbers across the top are thousands. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, right all the way through to 25,000. And um, I fill up the graph. I color it with the pen of today. And then I write on here the amount of steps and the amount of miles according to my Fitbit app. This is my chore tracker. Um, this seems quite popular. Quite a lot of people seem to like this. And um, it tends to get a good response if I post it on the bullet journal groups online. Um, I invented this and um, I, I, I enjoy using it. I find it very, very helpful for me because I'm awful. As you can see, I've not been doing so grand. Um, I've, I've had a pretty crap year really and housework has just really been the last thing on my mind, but I'm getting back into it now. So all I do is I divide my page up into quadrants. Um, each quadrant represents one day then I draw the amount of boxes required for the amount of Mondays there were in the month so in September there were five Mondays in the month and then I list the chores that I have to do each Monday for example okay we we'll just work on Monday so for each Monday I everything that I like to draw on a Monday gets listed here um, there are some chores that I do every day like clean the loo, check for laundry, clean my office, um, wipe down my son's table, put the dishwasher on, do the worktop, sweep the floor. Um, I do those every day. On Mondays, I also like to clean my TV and I like to mop the floor. As you can see, I haven't mopped the floor in weeks. <laughs> Absolutely weeks. But I've had workmen coming in and out and in and out and in and out and I'm just like, what's the point of mopping it when they're just going to make it dirty again? I'm living on a building site at the moment. So... <laughs> um, Every day that I do something, I mark it off, same as with the other tracker, okay? 
and um, each day there'll be different things to do like Tuesday I put the bins out Tuesday night so I check the for for stuff that needs to be thrown away like anything left over in the fridge or in the cupboard or anything on that date and then that goes in the bins and I put the bins out on the curb or the pavement for um, collection the next day Wednesday I just do my basic chores because that's usually the day I take my mother out um, Thursday I add in to clean the banister in the bathroom it's stuff like that you know vacuum downstairs vacuum upstairs and all that then this is the chores that I only do once a month so and that, that's pretty that's pretty much it it's as easy as that I do have a video on how I use this and I will link that up in the cards as well this was a WWE spread for the late uh, the pay-per-view that was on in September it's King of the Ring and then there was also a Clash of Champions spread there. This is my running to-do list. Um, I gave it its own page. This month I'm trying it on my actual calendar, but I've got a funny thing, I'm going to run out of room, so I don't know what I'll do then. <laughs> um, and then we go into the weeklies. I do one week per page. Not, not spread, but page. So um, this first week there are two Sundays because we started on Sunday and I didn't see the point of putting the Sunday somewhere else um, so yeah it ran to eight days that first week um, what I did for the end of the week in August was I just didn't include the last Sunday see as you can see I can't I do it the same same way I didn't include the last Sunday and I put myself a little to-do list down there and the first the the in august it started on thursday so i in, only included thursday friday saturday and sunday and left that for other things so <clears throat> my son turned 28 when does that happen and then we get into the journal um i like to do a combination of art and junk in my journals so um yeah it's my son being spider-man out in the garden i do journal in different directions as well as postcards that i've received on post crossings and from friends that's my tortoise eating some food that was a photograph that i took i was so proud of that there's actually a butterfly and a bee getting pollen from the same flower which i just thought was absolutely awesome um that was a postcard i received from a friend which is fab my son's first day at school a conversation that i had with somebody on facebook the day out with my son this is the school menu which i might have to get for another one now that we're in october because i don't want to have to keep referring back to this box yet another postcard um oh this was the day where i swatched some gouache I haven't used it since I really must get it out because the colours are fab I also had a go with using a wax seal it took me three goes to get a good one which I'm quite pleased of and I had a go with foiling so that was that's good fun it's re really easy to do really really easy to do um, we cut my dreads my dreads used to be waist length and my daughter cut them on one of my lives so yeah that was date the live dated the 11th if you want to watch that of September um, I watched Endgame I cried buckets absolute buckets if you haven't seen it I'm not gonna spoil it for you because it got spoiled for me during Wimbledon and I was so so cross because I can't go to the cinema and watch a three hour long film it, I, it hurts my back too much so I have to wait for things to come out on DVD and in which case I tend not to watch movie trailers and I will avoid all mention of it so that it doesn't get spoiled for me because I have to wait six months and I was doing really really well I did not know what was going on on Endgame I I, I knew I love you 3000 but I had no idea what it pertained to and um, I read a, re a news report of an interview with Coco Goff the young lady that took Wimbledon by storm this year and um, somebody said to her when was the last time you cried and she said when I watched Endgame and then she mentioned what happened at the end and I was like oh. lovely 
thanks you you know i don't blame her i blame the news people for actually adding that bit in they could have just left it at when i watched avengers they didn't have to mention what happened in it uh, that was a total spoiler i was so so pissed off and then i got to and i started crying halfway through because i knew what was going to happen and i spent the whole film crying in my land i was so glad i was watching it on my own because i was a blubbering mess by the time i got to the end of it absolutely gutted but you know there you go oh we had a barbecue and um, i took a load of photos with my camera i got a new camera a couple of months ago so yeah we, we, had, we had a really really nice day it was a really nice day that's just a, a vellum sticker that i put down oh i took my new camera out with my friend um and I took these photos of squirrels. Like, aren't they gorgeous? They're so cute. I love squirrels. Um, we on the island where I live, um, we only have red squirrels and it's against the law to bring the greys over here. Actually, I think it's considered treason if you bring the greys over here because the greys kill the reds. And this is one of very few places where there are no grey squirrels at all. The reds are looked after here and they are loved. And I picked up some leaflets from, um, you know, regarding the, the squirrels and that. Another postcard. Oh, I think that was a post crossings one. <coughs> Daryl fell over. <laughs> he had a spate of falling over at school and bashed his hand up really quite bad. So I went to this. I did go to the cinema with my mum to see Downton um, because my mum has um, age related macular degeneration and she wanted to know, and it has stuck. Yeah, so she wanted to know if she would be able to see if she went to the cinema um so she said would i take her to see downton i've never seen an episode of downton in my life um but i can tell you as someone who has not seen downton that the um it's quite enjoyable yeah um she still couldn't see it, it was still out of focus for her so that was a bit but she said she, she understood what was going on because she recognized the voices and she quite she said it was brilliant so if you, you are a downton fan she highly recommends it uh, just some basic writing what's this this is a letter from school about oh this is about safety at school Daryl fell over again and bashed his hand right up this was also my son's birthday my eldest son's birthday I've been a mum for 28 years um, we went out for lunch I didn't get any photos of it because it was you know it's just me me my mother him and Callie and we just went out for lunch uh, Daryl went to a child bond and absolutely loved it I got another postcard, which was fab. And that's it. That's it. I do have some. There's the doll. I do have some spare pages at the end, which you know I I might use. I might sketch up on. I have cut into the back page to um, fix mistakes in this month's journal. So that's it. Um, I made the book myself. Uh, it is 30, 40, No there's two months worth in here so I think I did three signatures 15 pages of 15 sheets of Tomoe River paper per page I think it was or was it 10 sheets it might have been 10 because I only did two months yeah I'm pretty sure it was 10 sheets so 60 pages it's really chunky I love it but I've got so much stuff shoved in here postcards and photographs and that was a day out with my daughter in August so yeah I really love how that's turned out thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed this quick flip through um i'd appreciate a thumbs up that would be very very nice if you click the book in the corner you will be subscribed and if you hit the bell that then appears down below you'll be notified when i upload new content thank you so much for joining me today i really really appreciate it take it easy guys <laughs>